Aloha. I'm Kimo Hussey, and it's my uh, extreme pleasure, I should say, uh, to share this ukulele with you. Um, and there are, uh, there are several really wonderful, wonderful reasons why I, um, I, I really enjoy this ukulele. So let me tell you uh, about it. Uh, and uh, in so doing, uh, we'll talk about some of the things that I really like about this ukulele. First of all, first of all, I love the design. And the design is uh, uh, just, just ukulele, pure ukulele, without a whole lot of bling uh, on it that distracts attention, uh, especially when the ukulele is being played. Uh, this ukulele is made uh, of koa. It's an all koa ukulele, koa in the front, koa on the sides, and back. And um, uh, the work in, in the rosette and the binding and all, I'm, I'm not too sure that you can see that, but it's all very, very exacting. Uh, the finish on the ukulele is uh, it's it's a high gloss uh, it's a high gloss finish, but not high gloss to the point where uh, it looks heavy. Uh, you know the, where the where the gloss looks heavy because when you do that, it robs the ukulele of sound. Um, wonderful, wonderful logo up here. This ukulele was made by Steve Grimes. Let me repeat that name to you again, Steve Grimes, uh, who has been uh, in the business of building instruments, uh, especially guitars and uh, guitars, I should say. Um, uh, but Steve is one of the, the, the veteran builders and has uh, positioned himself to where today he is one of the acknowledged best builders in the world. We're very, very fortunate in having Steve uh, live here in the islands on uh, on uh, on the island of Maui uh, because uh, doing that we have we have lots of wonderful access not only to Steve's instruments but to Steve as well as the builder. So before I go any further, just let me say Steve Aloha uh, from Honolulu. Uh, and uh, I'm very, very happy to be able to show this uke. Okay, so one of the things I mentioned was that it has it has a really, what I would call, a simplified design uh, where it looks like a very, very balanced ukulele. But listen to this sound. Nice and clean. Each of the strings is filled with cooperation when I play chords. Nobody tries in terms of the strings. None of them tries to outshine the other. So we end up with very good blend. And as I play chords like this, going up, going up the fretboard, you can hear that the sound remains clean, even though because, of, because I'm getting farther up here, I'm running out of sound. It's a matter of physics. But here, and here, and here, and here, wonderful, wonderful sound. You know, a lot of times when uh, we uh, uh, listen to a person play, go to a concert, uh, put on a CD, whatever, we are accustomed to, um, to, to doing so because we want to hear the musician, and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes, and now is one of those times, where <clears throat> when, when, when I play this instrument for you, what I would like to, for you to do is to focus on the sound of the instrument and not take that instrument for granted because this is an extremely high quality instrument that, that demands and deserves deserves uh, your attention based on how this instrument sounds first I want to play something for you when I play that I was just um, you know using a rather forceful approach to the instrument and and finally it responded but one of the other ways uh, that I think this instrument really shines 
is if I play that same thing but change the right hand technique a little bit to emphasize uh, more the song capability of the instrument, I can go from here to this. I think I think it's a different sound. It's a more measured approach uh, that permits the instrument that permits the instrument to sing sweet. So let me play something for you in this style. First I played in one key and kept that very stable. And then when I changed keys, I went to play the melody in a lower register. And then in that lower register, uh, I played, got back to the melody an octave higher, uh, which permitted me to go up and down the fretboard. And I mentioned that to you because those those are things that uh, you are able to do as a as a as a player when you play a quality quality instrument. Tenor ukulele made by Steve Grimes, who lives on Maui. Aloha.